Hello and welcome. So, by now you know what are subdomains and what is the importance of subdomains in your pen testing and bug bounties. So, in this lesson, we are going to understand that how you can do subdomain enumeration using brute forcing. So, this is also one of the technique which is known as active subdomain enumeration. So, here we are going to quickly write a bash script that is going to help us do subdomain brute force and identify valid and live subdomains that are running on our specific target. So here on your screen, you can see a flow chart that explains what is the process that we are going to do before writing the bash script. Okay, so you can see on your left, we are going to do subdomain brute force on a specific main domain, as you can see over here. So here we have taken the example as example.com, which is our target on which we are going to do subdomain brute force through active enumeration and identify valid and resolvable subdomains. So what we are going to do is definitely, we are going to take help of a word list. For now, I'm going to take example of a demonstration or a demo word list a small custom word list that I will create with five to 10 random subdomain names. You guys can also use asset node word list in real life scenario that is going to give you a lot of valid potential subdomains. What we are going to do is we are going to utilize this word list for doing brute force purposes. And we are going to use a command that is host that is going to identify if the domain is valid or invalid. So if it identifies the valid subdomain exist, then it is going to give us the result saying that, yeah, this is the subdomain of example.com. And if it doesn't exist for any such subdomain, then it will just give an error. And we are going to send that into standard error as in standard output. So I hope you guys understood the flow chart of how we are going to do subdomain brute force. Now let's quickly jump on to how we can quickly write a bash script to do the same and implement it. All right, so here you can see, here is our bash script that I have written. Let's understand this quickly. So the first is domain. So I've given a variable domain and I'm saying here, I need to take the domain name. Then I'm simply using a loop that is a while loop. So I'm saying while read sub that is basically the subdomain from that specific target that we have given then we are saying do if host that sub that has been taken from that specific file dot domain which is our target domain so let's assume example.com so it is going to replace words from the subdomains file over there and it is going to identify if it exists so here we have used a operator, which is standard error, standard output operator, and we are sending its output to dev null. And we say, if it exists, then show us on the screen that yeah, it is a valid subdomain that we have identified. Then we close the loop. And then we are taking the input of subdomains.txt. Let us see how does it looks like on our terminal. So we are going to execute this specific bash script which we have given the name as brute.sh and we are going to specify the target that we want to use. So let's assume my target is srsecure.xyz which is taken into the domain variable over here. Now you can see it identified three subdomains which are valid subdomains for this specific target. Let us change the target to hacktify. So let's say hacktify.in so it identifies these many subdomains which are valid for that specific target. Now let us quickly see what is inside subdomains.txt file that we are providing. So here you can see these are some of the test random subdomain names that I have provided to test for on hacktify.in and srsecure.xyz. But in real life, you may choose a good word list, maybe from asset note which will help you to identify more better subdomains, which are not crawled by these other passive crawlers 
or other data sources in subfinder or maybe some other tools so this is it for this lesson i hope you guys understood how you can quickly write your own bash script and you also understood the flowchart of how this works thank you